Hi guys, welcome back to Carolyn Life. This is, um, I'm Carolyn, and this is my life. And today, we're going to start a new series with my friend Nathan, of Nathan's Life. Um, and what we're going to talk about today, about the difference between currency in the UK, well, specifically where he is, and in America, where I Hi, Nathan. How are you today? I'm doing all right. How are you? Good. Yeah, did you know that... Sorry, but I just want to point out that England and Wales, they both use the same currency. Oh, really? I did not know that. See, we're learning stuff already, folks. Yep. Yeah, we're learning stuff already, and we're only 48 minutes... 40 minutes? 48 seconds into the video. I don't know where I got 48 minutes from. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. So, um, can you tell us a little bit more about your your country and where you are in the world? And just maybe a little fun fact so that people get a, from a, a frame of reference as to where you are? Yeah, well, in the UK, we drive um, on the opposite side of the road to the Americans. And we use pound coins and 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 notes and things like that. And whereas you guys in America, you guys use dollars, don't you? Okay. So let's say, okay, if I were to have like, okay, because you know, in America, it goes dollar, two dollars, five dollars. And 20, 50s, and 100s. That's our, oh, that's right. our money. So what's the equivalent to that in, in a British currency? Well, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure. That's something I'd have to look up. Because, because American money, it changes every day, doesn't it? Like, like, like the dollars change every day, apparently. No, but I mean, let's say, okay, over, over here, for example, we have, like, the dollar store. What's your equivalent to the dollar store? Um, our equivalent to the dollar store would be um, pound shop or pound land, because we use pounds, so, so... So, is a pound, like, one, like, just for the heck of it, one pound is the same kind of thing as one dollar? Although not exactly, because I don't know, currency exchange rate yeah. and all that. Y yes, I think so. Although... So, can you show us any examples of what your money looks like? I can, yes. If you just bear with me a second. Okay. Um, so, if I share my screen... Right. You can see my screen, yeah? Yes. Right, so here we have UK notes, but but these are th these are kind of like old ones that, that don't get used anymore. The ones we have these days are these ones, which are made out of like, they're, they're made out of kind of like plastic. Interesting, so it's not paper money. No, it's plastic. It, it, it kind of doesn't feel very nice, to be honest. Like, I'm trying to click on the image to make it bigger, but... Okay. But, so but that's, that's a 50... I'm going to scoot you up the top there. Y y yeah, that's a, that's a £20 note, that is. And over in the UK as well, we've got these pound coins, the... the, the these are like relatively new coins because pound coins we had before they're more like um um seeing if i can find find an old pound co uh, yeah i think this this photo here would be easier oh, so it's like see so these are like different 
see and then you've got the then like these are like the old see then you've got five five pound note ten pound note twenty pound note and you've even got a fifty pound note but i think the fifty fifty pound notes i think are, i think a rare over here like, like like you can get them obviously but i think they're kind of rare nice yeah okay i have a question if you were okay. to go to, like mcdonald's and pay for like a quarter pounder or something how much would that cost you that would cost me um I don't know, because normally I get things like, um, because normally I get things like a Big Mac, which I think is like, which is like five pounds something. I'm, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure because I haven't actually bought anything from McDonald's in a while because I haven't been to McDonald's in a while. Right, I was just trying to like get a frame of reference for like if you go just anywhere. And you get like just a simple sandwich and a drink. Uh, well, like I um, like I said, I like I haven't been to McDonald's in a while, so I'd have to, I'd have to like get back to you on that one. You know what I mean? Cause, right. Like, it's... are you spending five pounds when you when you go out to eat somewhere? Uh, like, yeah, yeah, normally I normally spend like s sometimes I spend a bit more than that. It depends on, it depends on like, it depends on like where it is I go to eat, because I don't go to McDonald's and KFC and things like I used to. Right, that's nice. I was just trying to see like if the prices were a lot different in the in the in the Wales than they are here. But it doesn't seem like they would be that much different. No, I don't think they are, to be honest. I think I think they're roughly about the same. It's just we use pounds and you guys use dollars. Well, thank you for uh, giving us this little tidbit of information. And this is a new series that we're going to start maybe doing like once a week where I ask Nathan my American question and he does... A very fine job of explaining me to, to me to the best of his ability. The answer. Yep. And yep. I hope you guys had fun and will join us on the next video. Remember, you are enough. Bye, guys.